Hello everyone, uh, I wanted to show you a little upgrade I did to the uh, ShopBot recently. Uh, so like many of us, your ShopBot probably came with uh, this dust boot. Um, it's not bad, but um, in my case it didn't really seal very tight um, around the router and um, the suction just wasn't, wasn't that great, although I do like that it is uh, pretty much clear. Um, so my machine uh, had been upgraded to a Kent dust boot. If you haven't seen this one, it's actually a great dust boot. It's got these nice uh, magnetic releases on it. Um, and it works great. You can actually have uh, two different, uh, you know, bristle heights here. Um, this did a really, really great job. Nicely made unit. Um, but on my machine, I added on this air drill here. And because I added on the air drill, uh, this Kent dust boot that would clip to the spindle here, where the where you put the exhaust hose, um, that ended up right where uh, the air drill was uh, situated. And because I've got a, a four foot by eight foot machine, there's no way that I could turn uh, the Kent boot uh, so that it would clear. I couldn't have it come out the back because the uh, exhaust would go you know, up into the bottom of the gantry. I couldn't put it out to the side like this because it would hit uh, this way and I couldn't put it uh, like this either. So there was no real way to mount it. So I had gone back uh, to this boot for a while and then I finally got around to redesigning and making my own new dust boot. And this is a 3D printed dust boot. Uh, so what I did is I designed one. I wanted to have maximum uh, suction. So I wanted to keep the suction area down to uh, a small, you know, a small zone. And I wanted to not restrict the airflow because when you use the, uh, you know, the ShopBot dust boot, you have this crushed uh, pipe that you're supposed to use. And what was happening is, uh, you know, sometimes the the pipe would uh, bend like that and it would actually get sucked uh, cl partially closed and restrict the airflow a lot. Um, but because I needed to exhaust out the back, uh, that meant that I still had to have a crush pipe. So I figured out the diameter of a four inch pipe and made the profile so that this actually has the proper amount of airflow. So um, basically this 3D printed boot, it cl clamps onto the spindle here. It also clamps in um, using this quarter by 20 bolt here. Uh, keeps everything very low profile, and if you look here, um, you can see that uh, you know the bottom of the collet is a good quarter inch below uh, the lowest point of this. So um, you can still have some clamps in here and some other fasteners, and they'll you know they'll clear underneath. And of course, if you're doing like 3D work, you can still remove this. Um, it's got a, a rare earth magnet embeddable um, removable skirt, so it's really easy to change bits. Uh, and it goes through this pipe here and comes up and it actually widens out to uh, a four inch round uh, pipe. So you don't have that, uh, that crushed pipe thing anymore. And, and I've been using this for about a week now um, and it works great. Uh, I think that the main reason that it works really well is it doesn't have that big opening around the spindle that the old ShopBot one uh, has. And instead of vacuuming in a, bit, a real large area, it's only vacuuming in this little uh, little spot right here. So I get nice, nice suction. Uh, my pipes are, you know, well organized and um, it's really easy now to uh, change bits because I can just pop uh, this little guy off. So, um, so yeah, if anyone's interested, I'll share the files to this. This is about, I don't know, 10, 15 hours of 3D printing. So it did take a while, uh, not too long to design, but a whole bunch of hours to print, but um, pretty happy with it. So I just thought I'd share.